Welcome back guys, Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and today we're going for a test drive in a 1979 Chevy Camaro. This one here has a 5.7 350 in it. See it's got power steering, power brakes, wrapped exhaust, and the boots are wrapped. Definitely got a cam, mild build to the motor. A pretty nice paint job too. Interior matches it nice as outside. Got tinted tail lights, dual exhaust. What I'm gonna do is take it down the road, point out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're getting. Check out the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. We have financing, we have shipping. Of course, we update every Monday with new inventory. Be sure to hit subscribe to see all that inventory. And don't wait till Tuesday or Wednesday to give us a call on certain cars. Most of the time they usually sell before then. All right, guys, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we're gonna look around this interior. As you can see, it's in pretty good shape. Claw seats, consoles in nice shape. Uh, looks like a Hurst shifter. You got some aftermarket gauges below the dash. We'll be checking. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? It's a game we like to play on the channel here. We'll be trying it out here in just a moment. Dash looks all right. It does have a few little cracks right here below the or above the vents. It has a crack up here as well. Looking around in the back, see them panels have been painted. They got a few chips. I'll get my bag out of here so you can see the back seat. Package tray in decent shape back there. Headliner's in decent shape as well. Looks pretty good. Let's turn the key. The tack on this one is reading backwards. I think something's wrong with it. <laughs> Engine temperature's coming up. Oil pressure. They got it hooked up. They didn't hook up the battery gates though. Um, let's see, wipers. Make sure they still have wipers on it. Now they've taken them off and they're not working. So they could be unhooked or the switch is bad. Uh, got the face of the radio in the office. Of course, I can show you the mileage on it. It's showing 70,000. It's hard to stand behind that with a 1979 model, but that's what the dash says. Current signals. I hear them clicking, but that one on this side's not blinking. This one's blinking very, very lightly. Let me make sure this one is not. Yeah, I think the bulb's out on this side. Blower motor. AC's not working on this one. But do we have some heat? That's all I'm wondering about. I think the blower motor's out as well. Let's try one more setting just in case. Yeah, it's not blowing anywhere in the car. So that's not working. Did you place your bets on the horn? We're getting ready to try it out. No horn on this one. Let's hit the road and see how she runs and drives. Okay, so we're getting ready to take off here. Anything I see, I will let you know. So we're gonna point out any kind of flaws. We're gonna check the steering. Um, we already know the tack is a little bit backwards. It's just spinning the other way here. So let's go ahead and put her in gear. Reverse. And drive. All right, let's go. Speedometer is not coming up on the dash. She's already got a lot of pet. This thing feels pretty fast.
brakes seem to be stopping just fine. I'm barely getting into the throttle. She's got a lot of power. This is definitely a built 350. So I'm gonna pull up in the gas station here. We're gonna put about uh, $20 worth of fuel and see if we can get it off of E. I'm gonna say the gas gauge works, but we'll find out here in just a moment. Yeah, this one's tough ride here. I like it. Color glows too. Very cool. I'll see y'all here in just a moment. Okay, I got about $20 worth of fuel in this car. All we run is premium here and any of these classics. Put the gas in back here behind the tank or behind the car. Let's go ahead and check that gas gauge out and see if it still works. I'm sure it does, but we're about to find out. So it's on the E, as you can see, turn the key on. About half a tank, still rising. I say it works. All right, let's take off. So far, so good. Engine temperature at 180, oil pressure at 35. Roll the window up. I went ahead and did the walk around video. I'm gonna put it towards the end of this one. Not to confuse anybody, but I did it up here in the parking lot. So we're gonna roll on back to the car lot now. 
Make sure y'all look good here. Yeah, you do. What's up, guys? Oh. I've never seen those cops pull anybody over there. Maybe it's just a fair warning. Okay, here we go. Nice and smooth as we go down the road. Suspension feels pretty good on this one. Not bad at all. Really easy to turn. said the uh, the tax backwards and the speedo is not working at all just give you an idea on the miles while I can't stand behind mileage on some of these cars if the speedo is not turning neither is the odometer that's why I say that it's hard to stand behind mileage how long do you know or how do you know that odometer has always been turning you don't not on some of these older cars plus it's got a rebuilt motor or a whole different motor 5.7 under the hood on this one so we'll give her a good stab and let these people get out of the way Woo! drifting out there she's got plenty of power this car just topped up and slid over to the left that felt pretty good I wasn't even in it I'm liking that So I'm right around the corner from the lot we're getting ready to do, picking out the flaws segment of this car. I'm gonna be going from the outside to the inside, looking for anything that I can find. Let's give her one more goose here. I'm telling you, this thing gets down. She's real tight. I don't hear any rattles, shakes, or crazy noises. The brakes feel good. You stab it, she sideways. Alright. Let's head on back in here. Like I said, coming up next, picking out the flaws. Thanks for watching, guys. Alright, guys, getting ready to pick out the flaws, walking around this ride, point out chips, scratches, rust, anything I can find. Be sure to look at them detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. We have financing and shipping available for you. Point out open the trunk so I'm not fumbling keys, smashing the camera down into the hood or anything like that. So it's all open and ready. To be discovered let's go ahead and figure out what we can find here i'll try not to miss anything coming around the front end uh first thing i noticed when opening the hood they got a coat hanger here pulling back the latch you got hood pins on this car for safety coming up on the front here you got a couple holes for the bracket for the front tag you got some chips and scratches down here touch-up marks behind it you can see on the nose as well Got some down here coming up and over the fender looks like the tires are in great shape skinnies on the front nice polished wheels coming down the lower portion you got some bubbles a little rust trying to come through here on the bottom of that door let's get on down I see a line right here it goes all the way down the door where stickers were. Up and over the fender in the back. Coming back that midsection, you can see the tail lights in the back have some cracks. 
Got a little spot right there in the bumper. Paint job's definitely got some pearl in it. It is changing colors on it. Pitting on your door handle there, just a little bit. Mirrors, the rest of the door there looks great. On top here, got a little crack, chip. This car here probably came with a 5.0. It's got the sticker right there too. I wonder what. Yeah, 5.0. It's got 5.7 in it now. That motor's hopped up. She's got a lot more power. A whole lot more power. Coming across the front here. Got some little spider cracks in the paint, under the stripes. Chip there. Your headlight. Need some touching up there. Or the marker light with the turn signals. Looking over the front windshield. Nice and clean. I don't see any chips on this side. The trim looks pretty good. A little speck there. Pillar. Good. Roof. Mighty fine. Back window here. Got a couple little chips down there where they pop the trim on. Coming up on the back end. There's a few chips back here as well. Got some right there, a little crack. Crack some chips. The seal on your trunk looks nice and new. Same with your jams, very clean. The mat in here looks brand new. This is not very old. Underneath that, looks like we got some surface rust popping up. Let's try to get this mat out of here. Let's see. Come on. Ah, I got her out. So looking in your trunk, you can see it does have surface rust that hasn't had paint blown all over it to hide it, hide it or anything. It's there for you to see. Looking up in your package tray, pretty solid. That looks good. Yeah, down in here, you got a lot of surface rust. I mean, it's still pretty solid metal. It's just sitting on top where the water's either condensating or dripping in here. But uh, I don't see any water at all right now. And they just washed this, so it should have came in if it was leaking. All right, I'm going to go ahead and throw this mat back in there. best I can with one hand there we go look at that look at that that looks good all right <laughs> coming around on your jams they look pretty good not too bad coming down with this nope a little bit harder and it shuts. It's pretty good along the back. Let's go down this passenger side now. Lower portion first, back to midsection. You got some cracks right there on the top part of the bumper. A few on the side there. Little paint run here tires on this one look good up and over the fender see where the old stickers were z28 that's some dirt from the road but other than that it actually looks pretty solid on this side up and over the fender some more dirt chips in the front we've already went over the front though some right here too back that midsection it's just more dirt there Let's 
scratch there. A little bit of pitting on your door handle. Back window looks good. You do have some chips on your trim where it's not in perfect shape. You got a crack right here. Windows in good shape. Here's not bad. On the roof there looks good. The front window here, not seeing any flaws. Jam in front of the window is solid. This paint job really stands out. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the interior and we'll get her started up. The interior on this one looks great too. Door panel, it's got a little wear on the handle here. I think that can actually clean up. But the door panel itself has a beautiful look to it. it hasn't been all beat up in the corner. Weather stripping looks good. Bottom of the door. Pretty solid. Looks good. Your jams. Nice chrome. Little chip there. We got some rubbish back here. People getting in and out. Carpet's been replaced. It's pretty nice. The seat in this has been redone. It's pretty awesome looking. Back seat. Same thing, package tray. Headliner, not too bad. You do have a piece hanging right here on your trim. Looks like the clip is up there. I could probably pop that back in. Oh, I see the other side's messed up on it. That's why it's hanging. Console in this one, dash, everything's, uh, seems to be in working order other than the Speedo. And you've got aftermarket gauges down here, so we'll start her up. A few little cracks in the dash there. Up top. Guys, you want to see what I use to make these videos? Look below in the description. I bring a bag of gear, and that's all I got. GoPro 8. coming down on its own really and it locks got safety pins for safety Little chip there on the nose got a chip right here as well yeah this colors really stand out i like it guys check out maplemotors.com we have financing and shipping available for you have 100 detailed pictures and of course, every Monday we update with new inventory. We're always dealing with American classic muscle cars. We get everything from project cars to high-end show cars. Just depends on what comes in this month. So 
it's all just kind of you know all over the place really we go as long as it's a good deal and we can sell it for a good price we'll have it so be sure to check on mondays around 11 o'clock we'll update with new inventory guys don't forget hit subscribe share and hit like that helps me out a lot it keeps me making these videos for you if you enjoyed it check out some of the other stuff i got everything on playlist here so i got a playlist called cars currently available and i update that almost every day okay i'm gonna head on back to the lot and we're gonna pick up another ride to test drive i'll see you later have a good one.